Boats are being secured. All is ready for the tourists. The raftsmen here on the Dunajec River in southern Poland love their work. Maciej Kodeczka and his father are two of them, but they don't always get to show off their prowess. Waiting is frustrating, especially on rainy days like today. We have to wait for the tourists, sometimes from 8 till 5. Only when there are guests on board do we work and earn money. Finally, a tour group arrives, their first passengers of the day. This hasn't been a good year for the Kodeczkas. First, there was the plane crash that killed Polish President Lech Kaczynski, and then the massive flooding. Poles are staying home. So Maciej earned some extra money working as a teacher. A young man can only learn a living as a raftsman if he doesn't have a wife or children, or if he lives very frugally. Then you can just about get by. But I have a family, so I need to have a second job. A raftsman's job is more difficult than it seems. Sandbanks and hidden rocks can prove treacherous. It's as challenging as in the days when raftsmen hauled heavy logs across the Dunayets. Back then, there weren't as many raftsmen. Today, some 500 men from this region want to ply the river. But first, they have to attract more tourists. Some days, these raftsmen don't have any passengers at all. That's due in part to competition from the other side of the Dunayets, the raftsmen from Slovakia. The Poles don't think much of their Slovakian counterparts. They say they're subject to few safety checks and often carry too many passengers. People can drown in the Dunayets. It's happened, and that damages our image. When an accident occurs, all raftsmen become associated with it, us too, although the accident happened on the Slovakian side of the river. Władysław Regiec works hard to ensure the rafts he builds are safe, measuring the spruce planks precisely to make the raft easy to steer. The wood also needs to be well glued to be waterproof. He's one of Poland's few traditional raft makers. I could start a company, but no one would buy my rafts. Most raftsmen make their own. They won't spend money to buy one from someone else. It wouldn't be worth it. My earnings would never cover the business taxes I'd have to pay. In the afternoon, Maciej is back home. He didn't have any more passengers. That's my mother's brother here on the photo. It bothers Maciej that raftsmen like him don't haul logs like their forefathers did. He doesn't like being so reliant on tourists. <laughs> Maciej wants to make sure that the traditional vocation doesn't die out. He'd like to pass his skills on to his children but not to his daughter. He says rafting is a job for men. Girls can't be rafts women. It's a really tough, demanding job. They haven't got the strength for it. The real reason there are no rafts women here could be the long waiting list for a license. There's no shortage of young people interested in ferrying tourists along the Dunayats.